what has worked um i'll say documenting the processes um so initially it was a struggle because i just assumed that the team should understand what i want done um, and this was with trisha biz we barely I'm, I'm in the process of documenting um so i sat down one day i was super frustrated i'm sure i'll find the note somewhere and i sat or i was on a flight to lagos i wrote out all the processes on my one hour flight i came back i handed the book to one of my team members then and i said type them out so this is so i i wrote out steps um so i didn't go the i didn't do the old conventional sop king no i just did a step by step of what you're supposed to do for everything so for a webinar this is what happens from when we announce it till when the replays go out for a coaching clients this is what happens from the inquiry email till they come on board like and i created different documents um, and handed them over um, so that drastically reduced my getting upset why you guys not f um, functioning the way I want it to be. And then the fact that I'm involved in the business also helps because I can see where there are lapses and jump on it. So it's a service business. It's not like I'm manufacturing anything where everybody just knows what they should manufacture, put it in the jar and then send it to the market. Um, the service businesses, especially my kind, is quite tricky because my reputation is what is at stake. Um, and unlike other types of businesses where the owner and the brand can be differentiated, um, I am the brand, I am the owner, I am everything. So I have to double check sometimes to see um, if the processes are being adhered to based on, um, <coughs> based on what we wrote out. Then third thing I involved, I included, um, remun not remuneration, um, rewards and sanctions. Um, and then if you do X, Y, Z, you'd get something added. Um, so yes, so that also helped us sit up. And now there's like, I, I can see the conscious effort to double check um, before it goes out.